Greetings! Yes, my name is Joe Diaper, and yes, Murder, She Wrote is my favourite TV show of all time. It's amazing. Just watch it. Welcome to another episode of A Court of Ale, where I'm going to rate a beer out of ten in seven different categories. Looking for the best beer in the whole wide world. Yes, so... What categories am I going to be running out of, I hear you ask? I'll tell you. The can or bottle appearance. The drinks in glass appearance. How the drink smells. The all important first sip. It's effort to drink. It's gassiness. And the after drink feeling. Lovely, so where can we be going today? I don't know. Let's find out what drink I will be rating and sampling and drinking fully today. Today's drink is Dream Factory. According to the website, it's citra and mosaic hops with flavours of mango and passion fruit and citrus to fuel your dreams. Its ABV is 4.4% and I'm drinking it in a 330 milliliter can. Its IBU is 35. It is brewed by two tribes and they are based in London, England. Cheers to you guys! Its ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, wheat and yeast. Cool, so we are heading back to London again, where, as we all know, there are a lot of breweries working at the moment. A lot of really good ones as well. Some not so good ones, but lots of really, really good ones. And hopefully Two Tribes are one of the good ones. I've not heard of them. I've not tried any of their drinks before. So, completely new experience for me. From the sounds of things, Oh, generally average IPA, 4.4%, usual kind of stuff, citrus flavours, etc. Who knows what it's going to be like? Hopefully it's going to be great. It's time to do our rating. We're going to look first at the can appearance then. So, again, this is one that I've seen in my fridge and I've been excited to try. It's really, really colourful. I love the colours going on. I like the kind of 80s feel to it, the 80s psychedelic kind of pictures and shapes and colourful shapes that are very big in the 80s with the triangles and the squares and the lines. It's very, very Duran Duran. Obviously I'm saying that because of the two tribes name. Not sure if that's what the idea is behind it all, but the name is Two Tribes. It's a Duran Duran song. Very, very 80s looking can. Hopefully it is because the 80s is my favourite decade. I love the 80s. I should have been born late 70s to fully enjoy it, but I'm making up for enjoying the 80s now. I really am. It had music, it had amazing fashion. It didn't have great beer, to be perfectly honest, but people are two tribes to try and make it better. I love that fact. It's great. But the can, awesome. Very colourful. You would see this in a fridge really clearly. Its name is nice and big there, big old dream factory. And again, a little bit smaller, but not too small. The Two Tribes logo name there too. It says Pale Ale on it. It's got everything else on it there, nice and separate. But it's the colour, the name, nice and central, nice and big. I like it. I think it's really cool. I think it's really funky. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's cool. It looks good. And also has stuff, I must say, must throw in, it is my thing. It's got a lovely texture to it as well. It has got um, a printed on uh, element to it, not all the way around, but in certain areas. And as you know, I like a textured can. It's my weakness. So, extra points for that. Eight out of 10. Looking at its in-glass appearance then. I did that earlier. You should do it a bit later. There we are. It sounded good. So let's see how it looks in the glass. Give it a good old pour. Nice sound to it. Nice little gluck, 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 gluck. That's what I like to hear. 
Sounds nice and crisp as well. And fizzy, definitely fizzy. Cool, it's a whiff of smell. Lovely. Right, but we're not doing smell. We're doing in glass appearance. So let's have a look at it. It's a pale ale. It's very, very cloudy. You can't see anything through it. But unlike some that are a little bit darker to give them a kind of, as I say, urine look to them, this one doesn't. It's quite light, okay? So it, it's not got a dark color to it. It doesn't look like a urine sample. It looks cool. Does look a bit flat. Does look a bit unappealing. Isn't flat because I can hear the bubbles, but you just can't see them. But I like the paleness to it. It's not as dark as some IPAs or some pale ales. So I'm going to give this in glass appearance. I think it is attractive. The fact it is a bit lighter in color, it's not as dark amber as some, does make me like it more. So I'm going to give it a seven. Seven out of ten. So when I poured it into the glass, I could really get a waft or something. Something really, really hit me. It smelled fruity. It smelled like the kind of mango, the tropical smell I usually get with my PA. It really hit me. When I was holding it in glass, not so much. But when I poured it, whoa, it really came at me and it really smelled good. So hopefully these are good things. Hopefully it does smell as good as it smelled when I poured it. Let's give it a go and find out what it's like. It does smell very, very good, very nice. So they mentioned passion fruits there, very much. Very real smell of passion fruit in this drink. Lovely stuff, a bit different to other IPAs and other pale ales I have tried. Whereas you get a couple of either mango or a tropical kind of smell, or you get an orange and lemony kind of smell, a citrusy smell, this does smell Really passion fruit, very unique. Really nice. There's no sense of hoppiness or anything to it. Um, it's just that passion fruit smell that comes through. Oh, it smells very, very good. Really, really good. Good work. So it smells great. It smells unique, it smells of passion fruits. That's all you get, the lovely passion fruit smell, and it is a strong smell. So, for smell, it's gonna get a high one. Nine out of 10. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to the first sip. I like the can, I like the in-glass appearance. Obviously, it's not amazing, but it was okay. And the smell, really good, the passion fruit. I question it when I saw passion fruit on the on the description, but I, I take it back. It really does, and I'm looking forward to it. So, first sip. What's it going to taste like? Hopefully, it's going to taste absolutely amazing. Okay. So, cheers to everybody, and cheers to the people who work on public transport. I don't drive. I get public transport everywhere. These guys are silent soldiers, and I thank you very much especially during these really hard times. So cheers to you guys. First sip. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is a lovely, lovely sip. Really nice. I'm a bit in a predicament now because I don't like giving really high marks for first sip. But with that, you got the, the flavour of the fruit, of the kind of passion fruit taste. Um, it was good. It was really, really good. Really fruity, really flavourful. No hint of hops or anything there. No hint of alcohol flavour. Really good. Very crisp, very refreshing, makes you want more. I'm going high. It's gonna be the first sip. It was really impressive, really smooth. Nine out of 10. I'm gonna do it, bam, there we go.
effort to drink time. So, I like the can. In glass right. Smell really good. First sip. Very, very nice. Hopefully it's going to be good all the way down. It, it smells good. It smells good. It tasted great. It really did. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm going to listen to some music. I'm going to finish this one off. So light. It's, it's light drinking passion fruit juice. I don't think it's such a thing. It should be. But it is like drinking a tropical juice. There's a little hint of hops, but not nothing to write home about. Very nice. Very good. So, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. I really, really did. Smooth, full of flavour, full of really good tropical flavour. No harshness to it at all for an IPA. Again, you wouldn't really expect one for a 4.4, but sometimes they can be really, really hoppy. It's the blend of the ingredients that is really, really crucial to make the flavour stand out more than the hoppiness or the maltness or anything like that. And this one does it 100%. Really drinkable, really light, really smooth, bloody fantastic. So, I'm going to go really, really high on this one. Obviously, my mind goes back to <laughs> what's currently a number one in the league, and it is slightly comparing that um, to it. So, my rating for Effort a Drink, it's beautiful, really nice. I'm going to give it a very high 9.5. So close to perfection. So close. I, I, I don't know. There's nothing bad about it, I think. Uh, I think the only thing is flavour could be a bit more, but that's picky. That is really, really picky. It's a beautiful, beautiful drink. I could have loads of these. I could drink it all night. I could drink it for the rest of my life and I'd be a happy man. 9.5 out of 10. Gassiness. So, as I say, really light, really smooth. Doesn't feel like you've drunk anything alcoholic. Really good. I could have, I could keep going again and again and again with these. Absolutely lovely drink. Absolutely beautiful drink. Really nice, really refreshing, really crisp. Not gassy in any way, shape, or form. So, again, really high, 8.5 out of 10. Lovely stuff. Very, very good. And the after drink feeling. I feel great. I want more. I want so many more of these. I'm so impressed that one of these has done this before. So, Dennis Hopper, all the way back in episode two. And it is really, really on par with that. It's a lovely IPA. It's lovely. It's smooth. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It tastes great. There are no bad points I can say about it. It is absolutely lovely. So, after drink feeling, I feel really good. Again, it's going to get very high. I, I, I can say I could have loads more. Loads and loads more. I don't feel bad at all. So I'm going to go really, really high. Dare I do it? Dare I? I think I might. So, after drink feeling for two tribes, Dream Factory gets a. Am I going to chicken out? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Brilliant. I did it. There we go. I did it. 10. I gave it 10. I've used my little calculator and I have worked out its score. So, I can tell you. We all know it's going to be high. We all know. I can tell you that Two Tribes Dream Factory from London, England, has got a new number one place with 
percent. Well done to two tribes. Absolutely beautiful drink. Amazing IPA. So good. Everything works well. The taste, the flavor, the smell, the can. Everything is really, really, really good. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I want more. Really good. Drink this. Find the bar right now if they're open and go and get one of these lovely simple i thought i told you but let's see where that sits on our league table there we have it a new number one with the two tribes and their dream factory it is it's stuff dreams are made of it really is a beautiful ipa really really nice Go get some. I, re I can't hype it up enough. It's, it's lovely. It's really, really good. I'm so surprised. I wasn't expecting much, but it ticked every box. It really did. More so than somehow before. That's why it's number one, and it deserves to be there. Very good indeed. Lovely. Well done. So, we've returned to London. Uh, we're going to head away from London again and go somewhere else next time. As always, please do follow us on social media. Add us, like us, comment. Give me a shout, whatever you want to do. I've been Joe Diaper. I'm pretty sure I have been anyway. I'll see you next time on another episode of A Court of Elm.